What's up, guys? We are live. Sick. Never done this before, so let me know in the comments if uh, anything's... I don't know, if there's no sound or if there's a delay, whatever. But hey, we're live. What's up, guys? How's it going? <sighs> so we're going to do a few things in this live stream. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm going to do a giveaway. And uh, I'm going to, I don't know, just chill out, hang out, answer some questions. So if you're watching this live, or if you're watching uh, the re broadcast, welcome. It's Dyer Fishing, first ever live stream. Welcome to the channel. We just wrapped up a little series in Mexico. Australia, wow, we got some people from Australia. I don't know what time it is there, but welcome. Looks like we got some people from the Bay Area. What's up, guys? Oh, Sacramento, we got Oliver. All right, so before we get started, I just want to welcome you guys. I uh, actually went fishing today and, okay, just for you guys who have first joined, let's see how many people we have on here. Oh wow, 35 already. I wasn't expecting that many. I was thinking it was gonna be more like, you know, 10, 20 people. But anyways, people are rolling in. Big Dyard Fishing initial live stream. And uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I went fishing today, just for you guys who have joined extra early. And I'll give you a little sneak, or not a sneak peek, but a little teaser. I caught something that I've never caught before in my life in the surf. I only caught one other of this species and it happened to be from up here. But today I caught it from the surf. It's pretty insane. So that video is coming. But anyways, back to the live stream. So I was saying earlier, I did a little trip to Mexico um, a couple weeks ago and the video has been coming out. They actually put the last one up uh, earlier this week. So if you guys haven't seen it, check it out. But this company called Runkle was nice enough to sponsor me um, for that little series. And um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I'm reading the comments here. Bunch of uh, guesses coming in. I don't know if anyone got it right yet. But anyways, I was going to say, this this company, Runkle, was nice enough to sponsor the trip. And they sent me a bunch of free stuff. And I was supposed to use it when I went to Mexico. But unfortunately, it just didn't get here in time. So I'm going to unbox it now, just in front of you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We're already, oh well, we're already two and a half minutes into this. These live streams go quick. A lot of comments rolling through. Chris Fish Dis, what's up, man? I'm sure other people have commented. Sorry if I'm missing your guys' comments. Let's try to go through them here. So, anyways, let's open this first box. This is the bottom. Sorry. We got two boxes here, so let's see what's in this first one. Honestly, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, first thing, some fishing gloves, it looks like. UPF 50. You don't get sunburnt on your hands. Look at these guys. Fingerless gloves. Honestly, I've never been a real glove guy myself, but I have to try these out. I feel like this would be good for crab uh, crabbing on the kayak when you're pulling up the ropes. Last time I got a couple blisters doing that. But anyways, a couple gloves there. Good stuff. What else do we got in here? Dang, we got all kinds of stuff. Runkle really hooked us up here. So let's see. Fluoro Power Fluoro. So this is like, I think it's monophyll line that's coated with fluorocarbon. I don't know. Uh, I've never actually used this, but this is what 30 pound. Got this for to use down in Mexico for like light tackle, tuna and other stuff, but this would have been perfect for the mahi mahi actually, the Dorado. But anyways, I'll use it up here. Lingcod, salmon, all this stuff will eat that. Look at this stuff, this is pretty cool. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Comments. Oh, we got a bunch of people rolling in. What's up, Cole? All kinds of people. Dang, I wasn't expecting this people. We got 62 people watching right now. I wasn't expecting that many. But look at this, okay, so we got a little tackle box. I think 
I don't know. I have to look at the. I don't know if there's like a description for this online or something, but I think this is a waterproof tackle box. It's got the seal around the edge. So oh, there's two of them here. So like especially for saltwater fishing, it's nice to have these uh, waterproof boxes here to keep your gear in, because um, that way the salt water doesn't get in here and ruin all of your gear. So good stuff. I'll definitely use this. See, there's two of them in here, a, little, a smaller one and then a bigger one. Let's see what else we got. We got some swim baits. Definitely good for, looks like, uh, what kind of color is this, does it say? Five inch, I don't know, basically a natural color. It's black on the top and then like silver flake on the bottom. Good stuff. Paddle tail. Actually, here, let's take one out. Trying to get this slime everywhere. So it's got like a ribbed design. Just a standard paddle tail. Good for, around here in the Bay Area, this is good for rockfish, lingcod, stuff like that. Basically a little anchovy imitation. You throw this on a little lead head, drop it to the bottom. Around some structure, you're bound to catch something. Okay, so there's that. I'll fix that later. All right, and then we got some. Look at this looks like little jigs here. Break one of these bad boys out. Let's look at some comments. Striped bass candy. Yeah, definitely striped bass would eat those uh, swim baits, wing cod. I don't know if you guys see in the comments, Darren surfing. Looks like we got an imposter out there. Let's see what else we got. Santa Cruz surf caster. What's up, man? Shooting a vid tomorrow. Good luck out there. I was actually fishing in your area recently and got had some decent luck. So there's definitely fish out there. So look at that, a little jig here. It looks like it's got a J hook up top and then a treble on the bottom, 40 grams. I mean, definitely in fact, I'm sure this would work out in the rocks as well for ling cod. Rock cod, we got all kinds of different colors here. Pink, blue, oh, stripes on the bottom, and blue on the top. Here's a straight blue one with diagonal stripes on the bottom. I'll have to try these out on the kayak. Good stuff. All right, so here's that one. Let's see what else you got here. We got all kind of... Oh my God, so many comments. Everyone's rolling through. Sorry, I'm probably missing so many. It looks like we're requesting a shout out to Julie. Hello, Julie. Uh, what's this? Is crabbing season delayed? I'm No, it's not delayed. Crabbing season's alive and well. In fact, there's a lot of crabs out there, and I'm hoping that I can get on some tomorrow. So, yeah, plenty of crabs out there. What should I use when I crab in Pacifica? I mean, honestly, any kind of fish, you know, smelly fish will work for crabs or squid. Um, honestly, I think squid is probably the most effective, in my opinion, but it's also the, one of the more expensive baits, so... If you want to pony up, squid is a good option. Geez, we got so many I can't even get to all of them here. I hate rockfish. I'm a bass guy all day. Run circles around my. All right, respect to you. I'm more of a rockfish guy myself. Let's see. What fishing forms? Uh, crab. Runkel stepping up. The, yeah, they're definitely stepping up their game. They're definitely helping out us local Bay Area um, YouTubers. I know they were heavy sponsors for the More Than Fishing Tournament. Um, they definitely helped me out for this one. So shout out to them. Let's see. Striper or Ling Cod. Yeah, I don't know if you're you're referring to the um, swim baits, but definitely Striper or Ling Cod will definitely eat those. Um, if you're looking at the these metal jigs, I think these are more these are more geared towards rockfish jigging up and down off the rocks. 
or sorry, in the rock structure, maybe off a boat or a kayak. Let's see. When are we doing a Central Coast versus Bay Area squad tournament? Anytime, bro. Fishing with Mansara. I don't know what happened to you guys, you SoCal guys, during the uh, the Surf Perch tournament, but uh, I know it's tough right now. Perch fishing is just about to heat up. It's it's get, it's still early in the season. To me, Surf Perch ideal season is like December to March or April, give or take a month or two. But yeah, we're we're headed towards the good months as far as Surf Perch fishing, but. I don't know if you guys have seen the more than fishing tournament uh, results. We were one fish away, unfortunately. That video is to come too. That should be coming out this week sometime. <laughs> Late December. Olaf. Yeah, I wish Olaf was here. I wanted Olaf to be on the live stream, but unfortunately he's not, not here right now. Next time, if this live stream goes well, maybe we'll bring him back for the second one. Uh, let's see. Best bait for crab traps. So honestly, I'm not that experienced in terms of crabbing with uh, traps, but I've had good luck with squid again, um, anchovies, mackerel, all those like oily fish that will leave a good scent trail. Um, it really also depends on how long you're planning to leave your traps out there. So like, for example, hoop nets where you're coming by and circling and picking them up every hour or so. Um, you don't need as much bait and you want something that's gonna like disperse scent really quick but then it's not gonna last as long because you don't need it to last as long. So like and like I say, anchovies, mackerel, if you're gonna leave it for longer, believe it or not, I've had good luck with chicken or turkey because that those are like, I don't know if it's the, the flesh is more firm, it lasts in the traps longer. So I don't know, it attracts the, the, the crabs for a longer period of time. But uh, yeah, that's, that, that's my two cents for crabbing. Uh, let's see. Do you plan on crabbing? Yes, I'm gonna be crabbing soon. Video to come. And from what I hear, crabbing is good right now. So I'm hoping that we can put up good numbers. Let's see. Have you caught a sturgeon? I've never caught a sturgeon. And, and uh, my goal now is to catch it off the kayak. So I'm hoping that this winter, I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, sturgeon season is during the winter when it's raining. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe try and do that this winter. We'll see. I'd love to catch one off the kayak. Let's see. All right, we'll go back to the comments. Let's open up this second box. Okay, here we go. Hey, we got all kinds of stuff in here. All right, first off, we got a backpack. Runkle, let's take this out. So yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I mentioned it earlier, but both of these packages are from Runkle. So shout out to them for providing me with all this gear. Here's their backpack. A couple of openings here. Oh, let's see. It's be perfect for uh, this little thing right here. Slide that in. Boom. You're good to go. Got all your lures in there. Hit the surf. Just in time for perch season. Got a set of pliers here. I don't know if everyone's seen pliers before. Let's see, what is this? Runkle anchor box. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what this is. Let's see. How do we win gear? Giveaway's coming up. Let me let me unbox everything and then I'll, I'll go over the giveaway. Oh, here we go. This is cool. Okay, so these are like um, for your treble hooks. I think that's what these are for. Hmm. Are these for your treble hooks? Anyways, I think these are for your treble hooks where you slide your hooks in there and then you won't hook anything. Let's see, actually, I have a, actually here we go. We'll take one of these. Okay, so we get our jig here. So we got a treble hook on the bottom. If you just leave this hanging somewhere, it's bound to hook something and cause infinite amount of problems. There we go. 
So if you slide this open, throw your treble hook in there, and then you can close it, boom. Safe and sound, you're not gonna hook anything this way. And actually it's much better to store it this way. It keeps your hook sharper. It prevents your lures from tangling up. It's just better all around. So anyway, there's that. Got a whole box in here, plenty of them. That's actually perfect. This would be ideal for the Lucky Craft because those things are just disaster when they're got three treble hooks fling, flinging around. They're always hooking stuff. We'll fix this later. All right, what is this? This looks like sunglasses, potentially. Are there even sunglasses in here? Oh, there are sunglasses. All right, sick. We got a sunglass case with some sunglasses. Oh, sorry, I missed a few comments. What are those called? I think if you're if you're referring to uh, these, I don't really know exactly. They're like treble hook keepers. On here it just says anchor box. So I don't know. I'm sure you can find it on the Runkle website, or if you go to Amazon, just search Runkle. comments here have you had any luck adding scent to swim baits I, don't, I haven't honestly tried it that much for me uh yeah i don't know it'd be interesting to try maybe i'll have to try it sometime um okay and the last thing here i can't see anything with these on power braid 100 pound braid i think this is braid. yeah looks like it's yellow there and uh, I got this one specifically for my downrigger. So if you ever fish with a downrigger on a kayak, in my opinion, it's safer to switch out all that wire with braid. One, it's quieter in the water. Two, if you hook onto something like a whale or if you get snagged up and the swell's pushing against you and uh, just can create a dangerous situation. So if you have braid, it's a lot easier to cut. You can just take your knife and just snip it if you need to. And uh, yeah. So 100 pound braid, what is this? Eight strand. So uh, Runk the Runkle braid is actually one of the main things that I use from their website. I'd highly recommend. If you're looking for a braid that's quality, but also not as expensive as some of the higher brand uh, braids, like Power Pro, etc., cetera, um, I think Runkle's a good choice. Let's see. Oh, don't, people have donated? Someone said people have donated. I don't know how to even see that. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, diehard surfing. That's sick. $2 and Cole Williams, $1.99. Respect, thanks guys. It's gonna go a long way. You can almost buy a gallon of gas. That's sick. I didn't even know we could do that. Oh God, big money, yeah, big money. <laughs> All right, 74, okay, let's do a giveaway. I think that's what everyone's waiting for. So well, let's see, what do you guys want me to give away here? I was gonna give away one of the things that I just unboxed. Let's see some comments. Glasses, the bag. Giveaway. All right, so just you guys for joining the live stream, you guys get to decide what we're giving away. Oh, someone wants free food, sorry. All right, it looks like people want the, the backpack. We'll do the backpack. Oh, another donation. Wow, they're just rolling in. Yellowtail, Denise Oakley or Oakley. Thanks for your donation. I have fished Yellowtail. I don't think it was, I think it's pre-YouTube, so I don't have any videos on it, but um, yeah, I have caught Yellowtail. Actually, the first time that I went uh, Yellowtail fishing was epic. Um, went on a day trip out of, I think it was out of Oxnard, and I think I brought home seven Yellowtail. 
ranging from like five to biggest one was probably around 20 pounds. Since then, I've been a few times and caught a few more, but none none as epic as that trip. Um, another donation, Kyle Larson, thank you. This is insane. I didn't even know you could donate through here. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, so the donation. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna open it up to the people who also watched watching this not live, the re rebroadcast or whatever. So here's the deal. So go into my videos and see how long the largest striped bass that I've caught on this channel. How many inches was it? And then throw it in the comments once this video is over. Throw it in the comments, uh, you know, down below. Not the live chat, but the actual comments. And then I'll pick a winner. Uh, we'll do it quick because you guys, it's it's a live video. So I'll pick a winner tomorrow, so at midnight. So you have all the all the rest of tonight, and then all all of tomorrow to figure it out, and then put it in the comments. And then I'll just choose a random winner out of all the ones that are correct. So uh, yeah, you'll get this Runkel backpack. All right, what else was I gonna? I think that was all that I had planned, 55 inches. That'd be, a or actually you put 50, 55 feet. Oh no, 55 inches. That'd be a big striper. I wish I caught one 55 inches. Especially during the more than fishing, surf fishing tournament. That would've been a, a nice catch. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got here. What's up, Nick? Sorry, you've probably been put, putting a bunch of comments in here. I haven't got a chance to see them all. We got a lot of comments in here. So if you, if, once this video's over, go back and check the video and you, it, I literally measure it out in the video so you can see exactly how long it is. Uh, Daniel, I think you put shout out in here like more than 50 times. So I'll give you a shout out, you know. Daniel, shout out to you, bro. Thanks for uh, joining the live stream. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff. So who? what are you guys fishing for out there? Let's see what you guys are catching. 27 inches. Herring season. Hmm. Striped bass on the East Coast. I would like to go striped bass fishing on the East Coast. The striped bass here are literally minnows compared to the ones that they have over there. <laughs> a lot of my videos that I've posted with striped bass in it, some people, there will always be like one comment saying, is that even a legal fish? Even though it's like a 24 inch striped bass. And that's because on the East Coast, or I don't know, I don't know the regulations, either, but I'm sure there's places on the East Coast where I think the minimum size is 28 inches, something like that. Over here on the west coast, we can keep anything about 18 inches. So many comments. Bluegill. I should do some bluegill fishing. I don't even remember the last time I caught a bluegill. Crab and surf perch. Yeah, if you're looking to start surf fishing, perch is a great fish to go target. They're very abundant. Everyone, uh... A lot of people comment on my videos asking where to go, where I go fishing, and for surf perch at least, or striped bass actually, both of them. Any sandy beach along the west coast will pretty much hold surfers. As long as you check that it's not a protected area, um, you should be good to go. So there's my little bit of advice, my tip for the day. Marin Lakes, never heard of those. Crab and halibut in Santa Cruz. I need to catch some halibut. I haven't caught a halibut in a while. Definitely not a big one. The YouTuber tournament. Fishing in this area. It's asking if I went if I'm going to the YouTuber tournament next year. Uh hundred percent will go as long as I can. I would have gone to this year as well, but I forgot what I had going. Something was happening the same day, so I couldn't go. Yeah, the Central Coast people took all three spots. I know, I don't know what happened. I asked Ish and uh, June and all those other guys what what was the deal, but I guess they couldn't couldn't make it happen. Wouldn't have happened on my watch. So anyway, I think we're gonna wrap this up. We've already been live for 20, almost 25 minutes now. 
But uh, thank you guys for, you who have joined it, and if you're watching the rebroadcast, thank you for watching, sticking through to the end here. So, like I said, I'll just reiterate for the giveaway. Check my videos to see what the biggest striped bass I've caught on this channel is. It's pretty obvious. If you, you can even just look through the thumbnails. I'll give you a hint if you haven't seen it already. And uh, just comment in the comment section after this is over how much, not the live chat, but the comment section, how many inches that fish was. And then I'll, um, another donation coming in here. Big dollar from Dirt Surfing. Um, what was I saying? I'll just choose a random comment from all those who are correct. And I'll, I'll ship you out the the uh, backpack here. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll stop giving hints. No more hints. Well, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like and comment below. And I'll do another live stream sometime soon. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.